Deep Space High, Destination Mars. Jump into a wormhole and travel to Deep Space High, the school in space. But hurry, because lessons are about to begin. Afternoon class. Okay, okay, settle down. Now, the scientists on Earth are getting very excited about a certain planet in their solar system. Anyone know which one? Is it, um, Earth? After all, that is where they all live. Well, of course they're interested in Earth, Quark. But that's not the one I'm talking about. Although, the one I'm thinking about has got a lot in common with Earth, if that helps. Well, a lot of people on Earth are very interested in Mars. Is it Mars? That's right. So what do we know about Mars? Let's take a look. All right, what have you got? Stats. You've got your hand up first, as usual. Mars is the fourth planet from its sun and is the second smallest planet in the solar system. It's named after the Roman god of war, although I really don't know why. He wasn't planet-shaped. It's because of the planet's red glow, like the blood of war. Ew! Is the surface covered in blood? Of course not. Mars is red not because of any horrible blood disaster, but because of a mineral called iron oxide that's very common on the planet's surface. Let's zoom in and check out the terrain. Mars is a terrestrial planet. It's rocky with craters and mountains, not a gas giant like Jupiter, Saturn and... Sorry, sir. Thank you, Quark. Mars has a thin atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide. An interesting fact is that even though Earth is much bigger than Mars, they both have approximately the same amount of land mass. That's because most of Earth is covered in water. There's therefore plenty of land to explore on Mars. Not much good if you want to take a boat, though. <laughs> Another interesting fact about Mars is that Martian gravity is only a third that of the Earth's. This means you could leap nearly three times higher on Mars. Quark, that isn't an excuse to start jumping around. Sorry, sir. I need the bathroom. All right, you're excused. Let's zoom in on some of the sites on Mars. That is the biggest mountain I've ever seen. It's not a mountain. It's a volcano and the tallest one we know of in the solar system. It's 21 kilometers high and 600 kilometers in diameter. Even though it's billions of years old, scientists think it could still be active. What next? What a horrible storm. Is it made of dust or sand? Both. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system. They can last for months and cover the entire planet. I don't think I'd fancy a summer holiday there. Or a winter one. Mars has seasons just like on Earth, but they're much longer because Mars is further away from the sun. How long is a year then? 687 days, getting on for double that on Earth. Each day themselves are about the same as on Earth. 24 hours and then an extra nine minutes. So why does it get so cold? Is it because it's so far away? I mean, I can see the sun there, but it looks much smaller than it does on Earth. That's right, the seasons are more extreme too, because Mars's orbit is in an elliptical shape. That means when it gets cold, it gets really cold. Even the hottest summer's day would not be much above freezing. Not exactly beach weather. Let's zoom out and see the whole planet. There's a couple of other important things to see. Mars has moons! Who knew? Yep, two moons called Phobos and Deimos. Although sometime in the next two to four million years, Phobos is expected to be torn apart by gravity, leaving a ring of dust and debris around the planet. Like Saturn. Sounds pretty cool. Well, it's freezing, in fact. Deep Space High, Destination Mars. With support from the UK Space Agency. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash space.